So in this video we're going to be talking about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and some of the major problems or the bugs with the game that have yet to be resolved. So overall I do think this game is awesome and with the exception of one bug I'm going to be talking about I think most of these issues are pretty minor and they don't negatively affect the game too much but I felt like this video needed to be made because the game has been out for over a month now and some of these bugs have still yet to be resolved so let's go ahead and break down some of these bugs that I have discovered in the game. So this first one we're going to be talking about is probably the biggest one and definitely the main one that I think they should have fixed by now considering how game breaking it is. But uh, in episode 7, after you complete the first few levels, you're going to get to Taco Donna and you're going to have to meet up with Maz. And essentially meeting up with Maz is what initiates the next level of the game. But there is a bug where sometimes some players are having it to where you go into the Taco Donna castle and you can just not speak the mods, like the level just will not let you start and uh, you basically can't progress the story and you essentially get locked out of almost all of the sequel content in the game because if you can't progress through episode 7 you can't unlock episode 8 and therefore episode 9 uh, so yeah this bug is pretty major now there's some theories as to what's actually causing this bug it seems to be that when you're playing the story and you land on Taco Donna if you go and do a bunch of like free roam missions first before going to the next story mission that seems to cause the bug so if you are playing this game for yourself, I would recommend when you land on Taco Donna when you're playing Episode 7 Story, to just go straight to the mission, go straight to talking to Maz, and you probably won't experience this bug. But uh, this is pretty game breaking, and this is definitely the one that needs to get resolved first. Now speaking of Taco Donna, there's also another issue in the open world of this planet where we have this minor sky flickering issue. So if you look up at the sky when you're in the open world, sometimes the sky will like flicker like a kind of a, a shade of white. And I'm not sure if this happens on all the consoles. It's happening on Xbox Series X and possibly PS5. It might only occur on the next gen consoles actually. Maybe it has to do something with the 60 frames per second frame rate on this game, whereas the old consoles don't have that. They're running at 30. Uh, but yeah, the sky does flicker on Taco Donna and some of the other planets in the game again this is very minor actually when I was trying to get this footage like it honestly didn't do it very much so I don't know if it depends on if you stay on the planet for a long time it starts flickering worse but this is another issue that needs to get fixed so let's talk about some of the bugs in the actual levels of this game so the hunt for Django level I actually made a comment about this in my mini kit and challenge guide for this level uh, but uh, there's one challenge where you have to dodge Django Fett uh, three different times from his missiles and this is just where you're hitting the left bumper or right bumper on Xbox or L1 and R1 if you're on PlayStation where you're just dodging them when he targets you with one of his missiles and so the challenge is pretty simple just dodging them but the problem is is it doesn't register a lot of the times like you sort of have to wait until the last minute for it to actually register and uh, it's just kind of annoying this isn't too big of a deal because you will eventually get it but uh, it makes the challenge take way longer than it needs to so this is something that needs to be fixed as well I actually reported this one myself because I discovered it when I was making my mini kit guide so hopefully they'll get that one fixed so also in episode 2, the Droid Factory Frenzy level, this is probably one of the most well known level bugs in the game, but the frame rate is pretty bad on this level, at least on the last gen consoles. Now on Xbox Series X, as you can see in this footage, it runs pretty smoothly. I'm sure if you actually did a technical analysis on this level, the frame rate would be running in like the low 50s or something instead of 60 frames per second. Uh, but it's especially bad on the last gen consoles where the frame rate is just really laggy, so this level seems to be poorly optimized, and this is even an issue on PC. So you can have a super powerful PC and this level will still be running at low frame rates. So this level needs to be optimized as well. So let's move on to episode 3 with the high ground. So this is a bug I couldn't seem to replicate, uh, of course, when I'm trying to make this video. But I've encountered this at least twice where after you uh, get done with fighting Anakin in that room with all the holographic tables and stuff like that, there's a cutscene that needs to play and then after this cutscene plays you go onto the catwalk like you're seeing here. And sometimes there is a bug where you're fighting Anakin and that cutscene just won't play. And so Obi-Wan and Anakin never go out to the catwalk and then the level progresses with the droid section where you play as 3PO and all that kind of stuff. So there's a bug that happens where you just get stuck fighting Anakin and they never go out onto the catwalk. And I experienced this at least two or three times on this level, but unfortunately of course I couldn't get it for this video. Uh, so that's another thing that definitely needs to be addressed. And one last thing I do want to point out is there is a bug with the opening cutscene won't skip at times. So of course every time you start up the game it plays the opening cutscene. And sometimes when you hold the Y button or the triangle button if you're on PlayStation to skip, it just won't skip and you have to watch like a certain portion of the cutscene before it actually lets you skip it. Um, so yeah, again, this is just a minor thing. It just makes you wait a few more seconds. But, uh, but yeah, I really want them to fix that one as well. It'll just make things a lot more convenient and save me a little bit of time every time I boot up the game. 
So that's pretty much all the main issues that I have with this game so far. Again, the Maz Kanata glitch on Episode 7 where you can't progress the story is definitely the most major one. Uh, but let me know if you guys have encountered any other bugs in this game in the comments below. I'd really like to hear it. Uh, these are the ones that at least I've discovered in the game that I think need to be addressed. Um, of course, the game also crashes at times. Like, there's times where you'll be in the open world, you'll just pull up the mini-map or the character selection screen and the game will crash. Or there's, like, infinite loading glitches where you boot up the game and it just infinitely loads and you just have to restart it there's little things like that that aren't too big of a deal but uh, those definitely need to be fixed too now TT games has actually announced that they're working on bug fixes for this game but this was back on April 13th which at the time of this video coming out is nearly a month ago so it is weird that they're taking over a month to come out with a patch for this game especially when you have a game breaking bug like the Maz Kanata glitch on episode 7 so yeah, I don't know what's taking them so long. Maybe they're having some trouble fixing some of these issues. Maybe they can't determine what's actually causing some of these issues. Again, we don't really know, and they're not giving us any sort of time frame as to when the next update is coming. They're just kind of saying, uh, you know, we're working on it, and stay tuned to our social channels. So we'll have to see when we actually get an update. I was hoping for one on May the 4th, but uh, unfortunately that didn't happen. And I know there's a lot of people locked out of continuing the story in the sequels. So really, TT Games needs to address this quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, so let me know again what bugs you have experienced in this game. Did I pretty much mention them all here, or have you experienced even more? I really would like to know that in the comments. Now, if you have experienced a bug, you can officially report it to TT Games through the link in the description. This will take you to a WB Games support page. Now, when you report it through that link, that's actually how TT Games gets it, and then they can log in in their system and actually start working on fixing it. Asking the devs to fix a bug is not going to properly, you know, document the bug for them to actually fix it, but actually doing it through WB Games support page in the link below will. So make sure you're reporting any bugs that you discover through there. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it, if you agree, dislike it. If not, if you haven't experienced any of these bugs, and subscribe for more LEGO Star Wars content like this, as well as all the other LEGO games. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.